Okay. Pac-Man and Toon Link. Ooh la la, I like this. Oh. Three, two, one, go! Oh, good song, too. What's up, Clint BK? How are you doing? Clinty. Thanks again, Clinte, for helping tonight. Things have been pretty smooth. Hydrant going right over Peach. Into Pac-Man too. Ooh, that's gotta hurt. I didn't even see what launched it. Yeah, I didn't expect that either. I feel like as a Pac-Man player, it's probably the best way to die is dying to your own Hydrant, I guess. Wow, Toon Link up B, almost getting the kill there. Wow, Toon Link dash attack hits on ledge. Yeah, like I know, I, I like, like with DDD, I can jet hammer almost all characters on the ledge, except for like Ridley, Violet, Zelda, and Incineroar. It's probably some others. Zelda, you say? I'll keep that in mind. <laughs> I think so. Next time I go against you, I'll make sure to hang camp on ledge when I see um, you have a jet hammer on. <laughs> Don't do that. <laughs> Yeah, it was a smooth tourney. I think I only did the other, the only lag test tonight, which is nice. Cause all the other moderation stuff is fine. It's just the lag tests that I hate. That's always sad when you got to DQ somebody too. Yeah, it always feels awful. Yeah, Prem seems real good at that, at keeping their stocks. They should look kind of kind of low though. Ooh. Let me go back. The two link deciding not to pressure and go on the offensive against Peach, it looks like. I guess the red team is trying to focus on Peach. So like, I guess Peach is easier to kill in this situation. As far as Inkling is just. Well, Inkling's dead right now, but. That's what it seems like. But there's Pac Man stock. Yeah, it's, I mean, it's not a bad strategy. You just. You only need to take six stocks, it doesn't really matter who they're off of. Right. Ooh, and there goes Peach's stock. This is still kind of, I mean, even though 2 weeks at 100% and Inkling stole the whole, whole stock above, this is still pretty even. This, this can still be anyone's game. As soon as one person gets eliminated from either team, this is going to be a lot more favorite than that person that team's favorite. Right I like how the blue team is able to utilize the horizontal space as well as the vertical space to like team combo and whatnot. That's pretty good. That's pretty creative um, strategy right there. So a lot of puts is going on right now. <laughs> yeah. There is no neutral. <laughs> Just projectiles. 
Oh, <laughs> five. I'm almost taking it. Oh, shield poked, probably. Wow. The side. Zero percent, though. Yeah, completely fresh stock, but Inkling still has another stock, so this is a. Uh, this can be an issue. But Two Link does have a bit of troubles with killing sometimes. Um, especially since, like, for some reason, they never put a few of his moves from Smash 4 to Ultimate. Like, fair. Or, I think it's not a fair back air. One of those attacks doesn't do nearly as much damage as it used to do with Smash 4. If I'm not mistaken, at least. I think, I think it was fair. Fair doesn't do nearly as much knockback as it used to do with Smash 4, which is a darn shame. Almost a combo into the bomb. Wouldn't have killed, but still would have been a nice bit of record percent. Still like using a lot of rolls, trying to jump up, stay away from the blue team right now. There we go, there's one. Good, Two to go. Taunt? He taunted, oh man. If I'm him, if I'm him, I'm taking out Inkling, yeah. Yeah, I think Prem realizes that's what he's, you know, that Toon Link will have a big advantage if Prem goes down. So Prem is just running away. Uh, oh, there's only 30 seconds left, by the way. So I don't think Toon Link's winning this one. He's really trying to bad stock on uh, on Prem right there. I, I don't see him winning it. There's Nah, he's getting timed out. Or, or killed. He's not taking Peach's stock in the seven seconds that remain. Alright. Yep. Well, congratulations, blue team, for advancing and then red team. Wait, no, it's, that was just one game. I think this is this is winners finals, right? Or yeah. winners semis, right? Yeah, no, this is finals. That was one game. Gotcha. It was a long was game. game. Yeah, that was Wait, one. Shoot. It is one and zero. Oh. oh god, sorry, my memory's so bad. I thought that was, I thought that was the entire set. <laughs> Oops. All right, no, it's not over till it's over then. Oops, it easy. No pun intended. Okay, let's see. So, red team's gonna make their bands now. Okay, so they have banned Yoshi's, Lilat, and Kalos. Yeah, understandable. But no battle field, interesting. I'm guessing... I'm guessing Yoshi probably messes up the... Oh, wait, I'm thinking of the wrong team. Red team wants Inkling and Peach. Yeah, I can see those bands making sense. No, 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 you got... everything up. Blue team, yeah. Inkling and Peach just banned those. We're going to town! Town City, not a bad choice, not a bad choice. I can say that work for both players, honestly. Toon Link will probably get a lot out of the, um, the platforms, I imagine. Well, I don't know too much about Toon Link. I know he's got combos off of like all of his items. Like if he hits you with a boomerang or a bomb, he can usually hit you with a forward or back air off of it. Yeah. I feel like Toon Link and Young are kind of similar in the sense that they can have they can combo off the projectiles, but I think Young's a bit better at close-up projectile attacks, which is weird, but... Like, fire arrows are super good at comboing for some reason, especially if you fear burst them a lot. Toon Link more like is a more campy in that sense. Can still combo, but we'll generally just prefer to like keep his distance. Red team has center stage, but then Inkling decides to just shoot Toon Link with the hydrant. Man, I keep thinking that Inkling and Toon Link are on the same team because they're purple. 
I gotta say, the color coordination on all the matches I've streamed today has been pretty bad. You absolutely should. <laughs> the only time I don't is when I go double DDD. Oh, that's fair, yeah. No. But even then, we could go, we could go light blue and dark blue with DDD, but we just don't. We just play our own DDD colors. Let's see, my my teammate usually plays Link, and he usually plays like the like a hero's tunic Link. There's so a green like, Zelda. Yeah, I don't like it. I used to like green Zelda in Smash Four. Although those references, I thought was really awesome, but I don't like green Zelda as much with the specials of its time. Well, you could make uh make Nathan change. <laughs> make him go purple, I guess. No, there's not. Actually, it's purple too, like a purple young link, I think. Not purple, just adult link. Streaming game. loser semis? I... I don't know. I probably should, right? But at the same time, I didn't want to hold up the tournament. <laughs> Nathaniel's in chat. Oh. <laughs> I can't see chat right now, because I don't want to tank the stream. He just says I can change. You guys could do default link. You could do. I don't know, I was talking about Zelda colors. Zelda has a blue color, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, she same. Has, blue has Zelda blue. and default Link, I think, could look pretty good. She doesn't have a yellow, though, but I mean, that's... Who's gonna use yellow? Besides Chris. <laughs> I use yellow on a lot of characters. Uh oh. <laughs> yellow? I don't know. They're on the same page. Yeah, but, um... But, Clinte, this set is best of five, and those are best of three. Red team has yet to lose a stock, and blue team is already down three stocks. This is insane. The stage pick might have been in their favor right here. Yeah. I'll, I'll ask him, Clinte. I'll ask him in the chat if they want to play on stream or play no. Ooh, yeah, because they just finished. That's another blue stock down. Holy crap. This is a like six stocks to two. This is. Oh my. <laughs> I'm gonna see- oh no, there's one stock down. I'm gonna see a 5 stock. Why not change between this game and the last game, my goodness. Could be bigger stage. Yeah, I think the bigger stage probably helped out the red team a whole lot, because they got a lot of projectiles to work with. Inkling has some projectiles, he really just only needs spot bomb, and Peach only has turnips, so yeah, I can see that working out in their favor, like, a lot. Alright, loser semis. Loser semis said they want to play now, so that's fine. Oh, and there goes Peach. Yeah, we'll catch losers finals after this. Four that stocks. Was amazing. That was a crazy ledge trap, right? Wow. There, I don't think there's anything that uh, Inkling could have done there. That was a really good ledge trap. Insane. Well played, red team. These two teams are pretty evenly matched, it looks like. 
Yeah, the first game was pretty close, and then the comeback. So you know, let's see. This, this game is absolutely dominating. They are verifying the game. Z, you'll have to show me how to um, get make a stream into YouTube videos. Oh, it's actually really simple. If you can, yeah, I'll show you after this. But it's actually not that bad. And it's actually, um, I tried doing it one way. It took a long time. Not fun at all. There's an easier way to do it. Okay. Um, and I'll show you how to do that after the stream. All right, bands are lilac, small battlefield, and regular battlefield. Yeah, makes sense. Those are pretty small stages. Well, except for Battlefield. I'm sorry. Well, I guess they lost in Battlefield, which is probably why. Well, no, because you're the, the team that just won on a... Oh, yeah, okay. No, that does make sense. Oh, that reminds me. Um, since we just participated in the tournament, we can confirm there's no DSR, I think. Unless you can, like, they let us ban three stages at, at, like, at any point in the game, so... Yeah, it lets you there's ban them. <laughs> So the DSR, it is there. It doesn't tell you it's there. If you are banning stages, you just have to know that your opponent can't pick that stage, basically. That's assuming, so you've seen people with like four, with, uh, four band stages at the same time? That's, I have. That's wild. Okay, that's definitely there then. That's, that's crazy. <laughs> yeah, I wish it would like automatically strike that stage for you. Because they didn't need to ban Battlefield this game. Well, what's your opinion on DSR? Think it's a good idea? A bad idea? Yeah, I think it's a good idea. I like it. Yeah, but... I like it too. It brings a lot of stage variety into the game. It really forces people to like adapt to different stages rather than just stick to the same ones over and over again. I forget, this is bigger. It's modified DSR. Um, it's the modified one, I'm pretty sure. So it's just your, um, your most recent win. Gotcha, okay. Because, I don't know, it makes sense to me. You should ha you should win on as many different stages as possible. So then, if, if this goes to game five, if we can go back to Battlefield again then, right? Um, and, yeah, um... yeah. I'm fairly sure. I'll check. Makes sense. Alright, they're going to Yoshi's Story. Yoshi's Story? Interesting pick. That's what they banned last time, so it's interesting they decided to settle for Yoshi's Story here. Instead of going for like FD or something. I guess FD wouldn't work that well for them because FD can be really hard for Peach and Inkling to approach on. But at the same time, since there's not, this, this is a lack of platforms, Toon Link and Pac-Man will probably have a hard time getting around each other as well. But what do I know? <laughs> the color switch is here. <laughs> Blue and red, okay. No, Peach is red now, I mean. I guess they heard you. <laughs> This is red peach or okay, it's actually red peach. Oh, Could no, be better. We got two red, we got like red peach, we got pack of yellow and then red shoes, and then you got purple, pink, and purple. Yeah, the, the two yellow and red characters are not on the same team, and the two purple characters aren't either. <laughs> Get it together, guys. It is modified DSR, at least that's what I have written in the rules. Got it, okay, that makes sense. Tilting and dropping bombs on Inkling, it looks like. So Tilting could barely damage right now so far. He's just being able to use platforms to camp out and go around Peach and Inkling's attacks right now. 
No! Wow, Peacers took a ton of damage, I think. Man, I didn't know Toonalink got B killed. I thought that move was bad. Likewise, I didn't realize it killed either. Well, every time he's killing from the back, I don't know if that's a thing. Like, they're behind Toonalink, but they're getting sent forward. So I don't know, maybe it's stronger at the back or something, I have no clue. That could be something. I never knew that. I thought for sure it would be sending outwards, like, any, like, it would just, like, wherever they are about to kill it, it would just send outwards in two lengths. But then yeah. again, that's something for, uh, for Pikachu's down smash, but that's not the case for that either. Pikachu's down smash is so, so good. My goodness. Oh! oh yeah. He puts down the hydrant, hydrant gets forward smashed immediately. He's out of there. <laughs> the pressure is on. The red team is not letting up. Two link is still full stock ahead, too. Impact bailing him, bailing his teammate out right there. What do you do against this kind of comp? They can out maneuver and out space blue team easily. Packers go take two links stuff right there, but still, that sweat team is very healthy right now. Oh, the hydrant in place. I don't know if I've seen that launch before. He like up bead right under it. Yeah, I, I want to say it's because the slope probably helped the bouncing boy, I think, but <laughs> what a great ledge trap right there. Back air on Inkling? Forward air. Forward air? Okay, I believe you. Or wait, was that back air? I, I don't know. I assumed it was a back air. Does his forward air kill too? His forward air actually kills better than his back air. His back air is a wet noodle on the special ultimate. Oh. It really sucks. Oh, Umbrella off the top! I don't know what percent that was, but... It was low. It looked early to me. You've seen those little stutters. I don't know if it's actually the game lagging though. It could be the capture card also having some input delay, maybe. Not a lot of input delay, but just uh, some frame rate skips. Frame skips, for the proper term. Like Smash runs at 60 FPS. Maybe the capture card is like only getting 30 FPS or maybe 15 FPS sometimes. Maybe. One thing I have noticed is that the game looks way smoother. Like the any the, all the inputs look smoother on the uh, the capture card view compared to on my monitor. Yeah, it might it might have something to do with like the HDMI pass through. Oh, I can see that. Yeah. Well, I'm assuming it's a well, it's an animation thing, right? So that's probably something that. Uh... No, it's not even animation. It's just like everything. Like it's like the percents. Like I can really see how pixely they are. There goes Peach. We got a two v one scenario here. Definitely winnable for Inkling. It's gonna be tough. Hundred percent. Any any like team combo right now can totally finish off the stuff. Oh, and there it is. Oh, okay, misses it. The whiff. Let's hope that doesn't cost them. Oh, is that it? Oh, they tried. Oh, come on, let it be it. Up throw, up throw. Oh, the mash? Okay, again? Yeah, that's it. They're like, all right, we're done being cute. Let's take the game.
There goes Chris. Yeah, I don't know. I haven't looked into that like thing, but it's definitely like way smoother. I noticed it on the percents in Smash a lot, and on the like the little circles at the bottom of the Switch home screen. What's up on the Switch, the Switch home screen again? Sorry. Uh, those little circles at the bottom, like um, oh, like for like the settings and the controller stuff. Like I can just like I can see the pixels they're made out of now, and I think it must be the capture card pass through because I didn't notice it before I got the card. Yeah, not even mention. I'm looking at my TV right now. I can kind of see the pixels. Closer up now. Yeah, like give it a shot. Like put your monitor next to your capture card, like view on your computer, and like look at yeah. stuff, and you'll be like, hmm. Well, right now, I can see the um, like even right now, I can see like a little pixeling thing, like the Nintendo Switch icon. Like, yeah, the red one, right? Yeah, that one's like really clear to see. Yeah, like, that's the one. Well. I'm not crazy. <laughs> oh, it actually looks smoother on my monitor. That's like, right, on the, on the capture card. Oh, I see what you're saying. <laughs> hmm. I want to say it's probably a lower resolution. No, it has to be a higher resolution thing, I think, right? That makes more sense. Yeah. Right? Mm -hmm. That's interesting. I do have to say, I, when I was playing Monster Hunter the other day, on um, the demo, it Wait. Did look, the game looked a lot nicer on the capture card than it did on the TV screen, for we, sure. We so lost somebody. Who left? Uh, the beach did, it looks like. Nauseous. Oshis, come back! It's best of five! <laughs> okay, I know so Preem was talking in the Discord, so I'll add Preem. Prem, you literally added me and asked for this to five. TA has its ups and downs. <laughs> what class are you TA? Uh, Microcontroller micro interfacing. Gets to help people program with little uh, little boards, basically. Make little games. Like oh, yeah, yeah. Small 127 by 127. Sorry, 128 by 128. Little pixel LCD screens and whatnot. That sounds fun. But it's a cool class. Just, it's tough. So a lot of, like, a lot of, um, since students need really a lot of help with this class, there's a lot of like organization stuff that goes behind the scenes. So right now I'm I'm in charge of scheduling everybody's office hours, and we just got a new a new TA. So it's like, oh crap, I gotta do this all over again now. Huh. Anthony oh, RC says he'll sub for Oshis. Well, you've shown your devotion <laughs> to Marley and Jesse, so I think you might throw. <laughs> might accidentally slip off the side a few times, you know. Whoops. Oh my. Ready? Are you doing a friendly race or something? Or... Okay, no. Oh, who's back? Oh, she's back. Woohoo. Okay, we're good now. Here, let me see oh, if... Yeah. Let's see if they said anything in chat. They didn't. Okay. I'm glad the stream seems better. How's the, the Discord stream? Is it okay? 
effects are really good. My spell my internet connection is holding it up pretty well, to be oh. quite honest. Because I had a lot of trouble when you were sharing yours with me. When I was at my house here, it was hard for me to watch it. It might have just been the better computer on your end, perhaps. I don't know. Oh yeah, so how is your computer? Because I saw you were talking about playing Monster Hunter World. Yeah, funny story. I actually upgraded... So at the beginning of last semester, I actually upgraded my whole build just to play Monster Hunter World. Okay. Neither much I've actually played, but um... Did you yeah, really need I, to upgrade your computer to play Mega Man? Apparently! <laughs> I needed a better processor. My processor was like, 8 years old. Ah. So I really needed to upgrade it. <laughs> oh, so these teams are not correct right now. Uh oh... Well, are they gonna stop the match over? Or... If they don't, I'll shut down the arena. Yeah, they know. Okay. So but anyway, yeah, that... Cool. That game is beefy. Uh, it is hard to run. Monster Hunter, I can imagine. I'm hoping my current setup can handle it. I hope it can. I mean, I literally went to PCPartPicker.com and said, yo, we need help running these games with my current build. Because <laughs> I need to get a new motherboard along with my new processor because my motherboard was just so old that no modern processor really supported it. So it was like, ah, might as well upgrade the entire thing. Why not? <laughs> get a new headset and everything. Start streaming. Why not? <laughs> Yeah. But yeah, I really like Monster Hunter World. I was going to start it tonight, and then I remembered, wait, there's no doubles. I can't betray my friends. I gotta help them out. Do you, uh, do you have the DLC for it? I don't yet, because I want okay. to see if I play the game to begin with, honestly. I don't, I don't have it either. I've been waiting for it to go on, like, Super Sale, like things on Steam often do. Yeah, I think I snatched Monster Hunter World, I think, over to Summer Sale. Because the DLC for that game is supposed to be really good. So it like, adds a ton of content, and I haven't touched it yet, and I really liked that game, so... Oh well, shoot, if I end up getting that to like, post it up... Okay, why is the match not started yet? Goodness. I don't know, these people don't know how to pick colors. <laughs> but yeah, hopefully once I, when, right, I beat Monster Hunter World, if the DLC goes on sale, hit me up. <laughs> yeah, I'll play it with you. What do you, you said you main charge but in Insect Glaive? Yeah, mostly the Charge Blade. Yeah, Charge Blade's a lot of fun. Yeah, I tried to 100% that game and I just got sick of it. I don't know if this is a thing in other Monster Hunter games, but like, you could get like crowns in your log for finding monsters that were like either really big or really small. And yeah. it's awful. It's complete RNG and they're so rare. It was not fun. Yeah, I can only imagine. <laughs> so that made me quit. But How many hours did you pour into World? Let's find out. Oh boy. <laughs> Alright, we got a switch here. From Inkling to Rob. Interesting choice. Let's see, I have 134 hours on it. Gotcha, gotcha. Okay. Hey, Monster Hunter games tend to be pretty long. I like poured 200 to 300 hours into one of the it's like other Monster Hunter games I've played, but I've never actually beaten one before. <laughs> Wow. Which is uh, kind of sad, but. <laughs> Say that be, I guess. Oh, they have switched colors on me. Red and blue again. <laughs> At least this time, like, the. Like, now Rob and Peach are white, so it kind of matches the red aesthetic a bit better now. Kind of. Yeah, they're matching. I'll, I'll give it to them. It's a good color coordination. Oh, there's a shield break on Peach. Rob's coming over fast. Yeah. That's what I would have done too. What broke her shield? I think it was the hydrant. Oh shoot, I just saw like two like, like dash across like past the shield. I'm like, wait a minute, did he just like freaking like double personnel kit that shield was on the thing over? Yeah, but it was a good choice just going for a simple up smash on Peach, because Rob was coming. <laughs> That's the first stock of the match, just one minute in. He's just gonna use that trampoline to get back. Oh, this is Diane that it's playing right now? Oh, gosh. It's a waste of a champion. One of the guys just wasn't in the best of in my overall, honestly. I never played, I didn't play any games past Black and White. Oh, you didn't miss out on even You stopped in the best generator, in my opinion, honestly. <laughs> oh, fantastic and firm bomb into, I don't know, went to a back air to me. That's forward air? Okay. No, I think so. Yeah, back air hits like a wet noodle. It's yeah. similar. Back air just sucks in ultimate. Oh, 
was, I tell you, this was so much better than Pin Smash Ult and Pin Smash Ult. Didn't you play him in that game, or am I wrong? Yeah, I played too. Like, I didn't actually like play him like dedicatedly. I played him quite often as like a fun character to play. Um, but yeah, too, like a little bit here with the Smash Ball. And, uh, I kind of, kind of killed him in, in Ultimate. Not gonna lie. You play Zelda though, you'd be fine. True, yeah. I played Zelda in Smash 4 too, but like, you know, she was trash. She was hard garbage in that game, so. Well, a nice little down tilt up air combo, but unfortunately, his own teammate kind of interrupted it. Still, everyone's got two stocks right now. This is looking pretty even. Luscious is at a high percent, but if you pull into a stock and just uh, help cream team combo and rack up some damage here, that can help a lot. from Rob. If it works, it works. Even if it's a little tactic, it can work sometimes. Even if it's like one of the more primitive ones, but... <laughs> oh, Hydrant hitting Rob? Good DI, it'll be fine. That roll behind fourth smash was, was... This is something looking a lot more even than it did a few seconds ago. There comes a Hydrant on the left! Oh! <laughs> They said we need more projectiles. Oh, and he's down smashed. He was covering a lot of options on lunch there. Yeah, oh, the key! Peach was Peach was dead. Thing. Yeah, so now Rob is on death's door. One good hit'll take him out. I didn't see what hit him, but I'm surprised he's alive. Likewise. I'm surprised that Osh just went for the stock steal. I feel like if it came up with 2v1, Rob would fare better in, in a... Yeah, better than Peach, for sure. Yeah. They were confident he could hold onto the stock. They definitely need it. I mean, they're definitely putting a lot of damage onto him. Oh, oh, Peach was in trouble there, but Pac Man tried to hydrate and he didn't have it. They're keeping them separated, which is probably really good for them. Yeah, right now, Blue Team has good stage control. Peach is gonna float right over, though. Hydrant? Oh, the Hydrant will finally take out Rob. Oh, they had a grab. Pac Man could have just charged uh, enough smash and ended it right there. <laughs> and it's over! <laughs> Alright! Jesse and Marley have won the set 3-0. 3-1! Sorry. That was a great set.